Hello, welcome to today's video. If you have been to my channel before, hello, hi, welcome, it's nice to see you. And if you haven't been to my channel before, hello, hi, welcome, it's really nice to meet you. Today's video is going to be taking a look at mine and Reese's console collection. For those people who know me personally, or if you've been around on my channel for a long time, you probably know or have picked up on that I am a huge nerd at heart and me and Reese are avid gamers. And we both have been for the majority of our life. And in that time, 24 years, we have both picked up and collected some consoles um, and some handheld gaming devices. If you enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to leave a like and a comment. Not only does it let me know that you enjoyed my content, but it also really helps out my channel. And do not forget to subscribe if you want to stick around and see more. I make lots and lots of nerdy, geeky related content from cosplay to books to gaming. And I also make some organizational cleaning and lifestyle videos as well. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, do not hesitate to click that subscribe button down below and join this teeny tiny corner of the internet um, that is my channel. But anyway, without further ado, we have lots and lots of consoles and nerdy stuff to talk about today, so let's get right into it. So the first console of mine and Reese's that we are going to be looking at is the Nintendo 64. The Nintendo 64 was released in 1996, and obviously me and Reese were not born then, so this console did not originally belong to us. I believe, if I remember rightly, it was initially Reese's brothers, and he recently came across it either at their family home or at his house and decided he didn't want it anymore and he was literally just going to chuck it out. I believe it is actually the most recent console we've acquired and we did get a couple of games along with it. I've actually never played on the Nintendo 64. I know lots about it and lots about the games that came out and the sort of reception of it but I've never actually touched and played any of the games. We also have two controllers for this console, one in grey and one in green. I'm not sure if they were the original that were released with the console, but those are the ones we have. And in terms of games for the Nintendo 64, I think the most recognisable one we have is The Legend of Zelda or Kana of Time. Um, this is definitely a game that I would like to play. We also have Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Reese and Ben are both huge Star Wars fans. We also have GoldenEye 007, um, which is obviously a James Bond game. We then have Pokemon Snap. Seems like a pretty cute, easy game, family game for kids to play. We also then have International Superstar Soccer 64. I have never actually heard of this game. It came out in 1997, um, so in the year after after the N64 was released. But I do feel like it's a good one to have along with 007. Up next is another one of Reese's consoles. I believe this may have been bought by his brother and then handed down to Reese. Um, but I think Reese sort of owned it for the most amount of time. And it is a Game Boy Color, but Pokemon edition. Again, we have never actually played on this. I don't know if it still works. I don't know, I'd have to ask Reese the last time he tried to play it. We don't have many games for this. We do have all Pokemon ones. Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition, Pokemon Gold version, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue. These are all games that Reese has played in the past. I've played some of them briefly, um, but not in depth. I never really was a Pokemon girl growing up. Um, and we also have Pokemon Crystal Edition, which Reese thought might be a fake for quite a while, um, but we have actually verified it to be a real. As far as Game Boy Colors go, this one is in quite good condition. There is a couple of scratches and nicks, but on the whole, other than not knowing if it works or not, like it looks like it could still work. But yeah, Reese has obviously kept very good care of this. Now this is one of my favorite consoles we have. I know that Reese had one in the past, but I think he's always been a bit more of an Xbox boy and I am way more of a PlayStation girl. So the next console we are going to take a look at is my pink PS2. Now thinking back, I definitely did have the black version of this, um, the slightly bigger version with like the blue writing on the side. I remember it so vividly, but my mum actually threw it out. There is a running theme of my mum throwing away consoles and PC games. Like I will never forgive her for the day she threw away the Sims 1 complete collection. Love you mum, but I will never forgive you for that. The PS2 is a console that I frequently return to when I need 
something that feels familiar. Um, normally when I'm going through a tough time or stressful time, I in normally turn back to my PS2 for the nostalgia. So we have two controllers for the pink PS2. We do not have any additional memory cards and I think it's in pretty good condition. Um, I don't know how long my friend had it for um, before she gave it to me, but she took quite good care of it and so have I. And I am really glad that I have kept it up until this day. And now let's get into the games. There is quite a few, so I'm not gonna spend time talking about all of them, but I will briefly touch on a couple of my favorites. I feel like there's a good 50-50 split of mine and Reese's. Um, but first up, we have Splashdown for the PS2 which is a jet ski driving game, racing game. And this is one of my favorites. The soundtrack is insane. Um, I'll pop a list of the music that is on there. We also have The Sims Busting Out, which is a classic for me. The amount of time I spent on this game with my sister as well um, is insane. Obviously, I'm a huge lover of The Sims, and I actually have a Sims video lined up where I'm going to be ranking all of The Sims expansion packs that have ever been released. So if that sounds like a video you would like to watch, don't forget to turn on that notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss out. Next is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, another banger the amount of time I spent on this game. Just running around Hogwarts is a great time. Next up is The Sims 2. I didn't spend as much time on The Sims 2 as I did The Sims Busting Out. I feel like the console versions of The Sims 2 are really, really weird, but nevertheless, still a good game. Finding Nemo, um, another good game that I remember spending lots of time on as a child and one specific level that I could never ever get past. We also have another copy of The Sims Busting Out. I'm pretty sure one of them is scratched, but I cannot remember which one it is. Tony Hawk's Underground, which I remember playing with a friend when I was younger. Um, another Star Wars Battle Battlefront game and then four Star Trek games. Reese is a huge Star Trek fan. He was playing one of them quite recently and he really enjoyed it. Um, but I have never touched these games and probably never will. The Chronicles of Narnia, which is the game I've played quite recently. Another very good game. Not perfect by any means, but great for when you need a nostalgia kick. So I think that might be the console that we have one of the most games for. Nope, actually I'm lying. We have a lot of Wii games and a lot of DS games, so let's carry on going. We are keeping very on theme with the next console as it is the PS3. Now this is my console. Um, I think it's the console I probably spent the most time on as a child. I remember playing titles such as Little Big Planet on this, Grand Theft Auto, the Uncharted games, Lara Croft games. Um, and I have a lot of good memories attached to my PlayStation and the day that it gives me the blue light of death will be the day that I also die. <laughs> now, sadly, I don't have that many games left from when I was more actively playing on my PlayStation as that was in a time when shops like Blockbuster were quite big um, and CEX and trading in your games for other games was really, really popular. We have three controllers. Two of them are in pretty good condition. One of them is not as my young teenage self decided to stick purple diamantes on it in order for it to fit in with my room a bit more. That glue that they put on those diamantes is the most powerful glue and substance I've ever encountered. In terms of games for the PS3, we have FIFA 13, um, we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which I think was given to me by my brother. We also have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which I think was the first um, like FPS online game that I ever played. Uh, we then have a banger of a game, which is Harry Potter Lego Years 1 to 4. They are incredible, and me and my sister have 100%ed years one to four, I think three times now. And then finally, we have WRC2 FIA World Rally Championship. Again, this is one of Reese's games. I have never touched this, never played it, probably never will. Also, I completely forgot to mention that I own Lego Lord of the Rings which is slowly becoming one of my favourite LEGO games. I got it from a friend for Christmas as I recently first watched the Lord of the Rings trilogy for the first time um, and loved it. So my friend was like, hey, she loves LEGO games. Next on the list is the Xbox One. This belongs to Reese. Um, he's had it for quite a while and it now acts as our sort of home hub. We used to have a fire stick, but it just completely died on us. Um, so now we use the Xbox One instead. Other than that, 
he does have three Xbox One games, which we don't really use. He does have a few games on there, like Grand Theft Auto, which has played recently. But in terms of actual physical games, we have Mad Max, Fallout 4, and Just Cause 3. Again, I don't have a lot to comment on these as they are not mine and I haven't really played on the Xbox at all. Like I've said in the past, I am a PlayStation girl. But yeah, we do have the Xbox One. We have two controllers, one of which is in quite good condition and the other which is falling apart. So we're going to go back in time a little bit for the next console. It actually came out a lot earlier than I remembered. In my head, it released around 2009, 2010 but it actually dropped in 2006, and that is the Nintendo Wii. Now, the Nintendo Wii was revolutionary in the way that gaming was perceived. Instead of gaming being something that loners did, closed up in their house by themselves, it became a family console that everyone can enjoy. Again, I have a lot of childhood joy and happiness attached to playing the Wii. We have four controllers for the Wii. They're in pretty much good condition. Um, one of them has the attachment for Wii Sports Resort as we did used to own that. Unfortunately, I do not have it anymore. They're fairly grubby and they need some cleaning. So we have a white Wii. It was a family console back in the day, but it was then gifted to me um, once the family sort of grew out of using it. I also took it to uni with me. Now, again, we do have lots of games for the Wii, so I will quickly whiz through them. We obviously have the classic Wii Sports. We do have this in the sleeve version. I think I actually used to own it in a disc form, like in a plastic case form. Um, we also have Super Mario Bros. Wii, another classic. I bought this years back. I think I was 14, 15. Many rages have been had playing this game. We have Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. We have WarioWare Smooth Moves, which is soon to be released in a new game on the Switch. Trauma Center Second Opinion, which is a sort of medical doctor game. It's not the greatest, but it plays more like a anime series than it does a real game. My sister really enjoyed playing it and I still have it, so. Cooking Mama, a classic, ultimately better on the DS than on the Wii. One of my favorites, Super Mario Galaxy. I think this is probably one of the best Super Mario games to ever be released. Um, as mentioned before, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Big Brain Academy for Wii. Ratatouille on the Wii, which I did used to own on PS3, but I bought it again recently as I enjoyed um, the game when I was younger. Kate West The Vanishing Files, which again, like the Trauma Center game, it does play like an anime, like a crime one. Obviously, we have the classic Mario Kart Wii, could not exist without this game. Uh, we have Monopoly and the Hasbro Family Game Night, which I remember my family bought um, for us to play like on the weekends. And we did actually play it a couple of times. I really enjoy the Cluedo game um, and the Game of Life. The other ones are a little bit hit or miss, um, but Cluedo and Game of Life are bangers. So next up, we have two handheld consoles. So first up, we have the DSi, Nintendo DSi. This belonged to my mum. We both had DSs back in the day. I remember I had a gray DS and I remember this being revolutionary because it had a camera on it. But the DSi is in fairly good condition. It is grubby. We used to take our DSs on us for long trips and journeys. By some miracle, we do have the original stylus in here and it is not chewed or deformed um, in any way. I feel like it's quite rare that DS consoles will have the original stylus with them now. In terms of DS games we have, um, some of them are childhood games that I've had for a long time since the original DS that I owned. Some of them are more new, some of them are my sisters. The Sims 2, another version of The Sims 2 that was probably not very good. Um, I do not remember anything about that game and I'll probably replay it again soon. Uh, we have Professor Lays in Unround Future. We then have Cooking Mama 2, which I think is one of my favorite in the Cooking Mama franchise. I remember as a kid that you can cook for different members of the family and like friends of the family. Hotel Giant DS, which I didn't play a lot. My sister played it more. I don't think it's that great of a hotel simulator. I have tried to play it. 
Imagine Baby Club. The Imagine games were my life, lived, breathed, and was those games, especially the teacher one, which I still have, actually. This game had a chokehold on me. We also have Gardening Mama, which I completely forgot was a thing, but it's actually a decent game. We then have The Sims 2 Castaway, which is a favorite of mine. Of all The Sims 2 handheld games, I think this is my favorite. And last but not least, we have Professor Layton and The Spectre's Call. Cool. Not my favorite Professor Layton game, but also not the worst. And that is it for the DSi. And now we're moving on to one of my most treasured consoles, which is the 3DS. I remember I was gifted it by my mum at Christmas. I think I must have been 14, 15. Um, the 3DS was actually released in 2011 and it did not do very well. The 3D aspect of the console is kind of no, you can't use it, it gives you headaches and you have to literally hold the console like this for it to actually work. Like don't get me wrong, it was an innovative and exciting and it definitely pushed sales but there was a lot of negative reception from the 3D aspect as it was just unusable. It also had, do I have a stylus? Where is the stylus? No, I do not have the original stylus for this one. It's at the back this time. And I do remember it was extendable, um, which I thought was really cool. I do, however, have this huge stylus, stylish, uh, stylus. I also loved the camera and voice recording feature on this. Also the time of Mies. Um, I believe you did have Mies on the DSi, but they really kicked off on the 3DS. This one has had a replaced battery. I have to play it plugged in at all times. I'm not sure whether I bought a faulty battery. I just got one from eBay, um, which normally works fine, but the old battery had like swollen and needed to be replaced. It works, it does crash sometimes and have a bit of a meltdown, um, but all in all, it tends to work. She just gets stuck sometimes. There we go, she's on. In terms of games for my 3DS, I do have quite a few and a lot of the games that were released on 3DS you couldn't get on normal DS format. Um, so I am quite glad I had my 3DS as having some of these games introduced me to some titles which I probably wouldn't have played in the future if I hadn't played them on 3DS. So we have uh, 3DS, Nintendogs and Cats, which I love. The Sims 3, which was awful. Animal Crossing New Leaf, which is my favorite installment of Animal Crossing. And I remember spending hours in the evenings playing this underneath my quilt so my mum wouldn't hear the little we have Professor Layton and the Azran Legacy. I completely forgot until, I, until my 3DS resurfaced that I had Professor Layton on 3DS. We then have Style Boutique, which I think is a really underrated game. It's actually really good and I've started playing it again recently um, and I really enjoy it. Super Mario 3D Land, which I completed twice. Luigi's Mansion 2, which is the first Luigi's Mansion I have played and I love that game and subsequently played later versions. Moshling Theme Park, which <laughs> I don't know why I have this. I think I ordered a like bolt set of like games from ebay and this one just happened to come with it tomodachi life which is one of my favorite games ever it's recently um like gone viral on tiktok as people are rediscovering or like realizing that this was a game how this game didn't kick off more in the uk i will never know because you literally create your own me's and chuck them in on this island and they live together and get married and have babies and fall out. Like I create every single member of One Direction. I'm pretty sure I'm married to Harry Styles. We then have a second, Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. I think this came after, no, this was the first 3DS Professor Layton game and then Azran Legacy came afterwards. And then we have Rabbids 3D, which I don't think I've ever actually played. Again, I think it came in a bundle with loads of other games and I've just always, kept it. So we are keeping right on theme with Nintendo and we are next moving on to my Nintendo Switch. I think if I remember rightly, I got my Nintendo Switch for the bargain price of £180. And I remember I was at uni and I was looking at Facebook Marketplace and this woman had sort of popped up and was like, hi, I'm looking to get rid of my Switch. I got it for my son for Christmas, but he doesn't use it. So I'm selling it on. 
and she sold it on for 180 pounds and her son had used it twice. Like it still had the original screen protectors on, um, it was in the original box. It literally looked like it hadn't been touched. I love my Switch, I really do. Don't use it as much as I would like to. I think that's just because the games that are on there that I want to play are so expensive. I have four Joy-Cons for the Switch. I only have four because I had some drift on one of my controllers. I have put a purple skin on my Switch Joy-Cons just to match it with my PC theme, which is purple. I also have a Animal Crossing case for my Switch in case I do travel anywhere with it. Um, it does have a couple of stains on it, but other than that, it is in pretty good condition. In terms of physical games for my Switch, I have Animal Crossing New Horizons, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Pokemon Sword. In terms of games that I own digitally on my Switch, I have Stardew Valley, which I've never played until 2021, and I don't know how it had evaded me for so long. I also have Mario Party, which I despise. It is the worst Mario Party game I've ever played. It literally just picks a random person to win at the beginning of the game and then does everything in its power to make sure that that person wins. And it's so frustrating. I also have Cat Tales, which was like an indie game, kind of like Stardew Valley, but with cats. We obviously have uh, Professor Layton's Mystery Journey, Catriel, which as I've mentioned, is not my favorite game. Um, I do have Fortnite just because when my sister was in labor with my youngest niece, me and Reese looked after two of my nephews um, and we played some Fortnite with them whilst we were there. League of Enthusiastic Losers, which was another indie game, which was really cute. Mythic Ocean, another game, which I really, really enjoyed, another indie game. Um, actually, it was really, really good. Obviously, Minecraft. Um, I used to play Minecraft on the iPad. <laughs> Overcooked 2, which is one of the most stressful games I've ever played. Among Us, Cooking Mama Cookstar, which was like an off-brand Nintendo game, I think. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Wow, I do not remember that. I must have had it on. Ah, oh, wait, no, I remember because I also had Super Mario All-Stars, but I sold them when I was poor in uni. <laughs> there it is, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which had um, Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario 64 on it. Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures, Lego Harry Potter Collection, which I played a game with my sister for a little bit. I have played it for five hours or more. Okay, we are coming up to the last couple of consoles now. If you've made it this far, comment down below what your favorite console or console game has been. Um, and we will jump straight on in to the last two consoles. We do have a set of consoles each that I honestly forget I have all the time. Um, and it is Oculus headsets. Me and Reese both have a Oculus headset each. We used them more when we um, lived long distance and we would play games together on them and we would go on little like virtual dates on them. I really do not use my headset that much. I know I have Beat Saber on there with some Billie Eilish tracks. I have House Flipper, which is a favorite game of mine, which I played on the PC. Um, and I think that's it. I have played, I can't even remember what it's called. I'll put it here. It's like a RPG open world exploration game where you're like leveling up. You can either be a mage or warrior. Obviously, you will know if you have watched pretty much any video on my channel before. Me and Reese are both really avid PC gamers. We have a really nice setup in our flat. Um, in the corner, back corner, which I'm actually currently sat in. Behind me is Reese's PC. We both have fairly similar PCs. Reese's is a lot older than mine. Reese helped me build mine in 2021. We literally bought it just in time for when we both had COVID. So we spent our time in isolation for two weeks, literally just playing Valorant and Wrath. That was a lot of talking. We are both extremely grateful um, for the consoles we have and have been gifted in the past for all the games we have. Thank you for watching this video. Again, as I said, I really hope you enjoyed taking a look at our little console collection and our game collection. Don't forget to check out all of my socials. I stream on Twitch. Uh, my Twitch channel is at Otter Cosplay. Don't forget to check out mine and Reese's cosplay Instagram where we post all of our cosplay up 
updates. But thank you very much for sticking around with me for this video and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.